Heather, hello there. Hi. How exciting. Congratulations to you. Oh, thank you so much. I apologize. My voice is a little raspy because I think I've been talking a lot these past couple of days and it's been it's been amazing. Take us back. What have these past couple of days been like? And at, at what point did you realize I won? I think it didn't really sink in until probably the next day, but I was definitely stunned after the whole thing happened and I was sitting there watching the rest of the ceremony and I was like, I need to keep focusing on what's happening because I was so stunned. Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> so what was, describe the setting, because this is not the, the, the televised Emmys that some of our are familiar yeah. with. These are, what, what do you call these, industry awards or? Yeah, and they, they streamed it. They actually did a whole show and it's as, uh, on the, in the Emmys app. Okay. And um, so we basically were in a, kind of like a Golden Globe setting, tables. Uh, we were all sitting around. We actually had dinner this time around. I went last year and they, we were in a theater. So it was a, it felt very different and, and fun. And and um, that way you can like, you know, hang out a little bit more with your fellow nominees and make it more sociable. And um, yeah, and so we were just kind of waiting for the category to come up. And when it did, it was like, oh, it's go time, you know? And I just, I just, all the adrenaline, everything, you know, rushing through my body um, and realizing, you know, whatever preparation, you just never know, right? So a little preparation with the speech and I just tried to speak as much from the heart and uh, it was, yeah, your body definitely is, you know, in, there's just so much adrenaline running through you that you hope that the words come to your mouth. <laughs> oh my God. Tell me about this project, Monster High, the movie. What, what, what was your approach as, as choreographer? Um, this was a great project because there was so many layering, like so much layering into the physicality of the choreography. So them being monsters and each character had their own, has their own, um, specific physicality. So um, beyond, you know, creating a musical and designing for the frame that is interesting and exciting, um, on top of that, there's this layered uh, fun um, with with monsters and their hands and all that kind of expression. Okay, well, you're, you're moving your hands as you say that, so you're obviously the choreographer. So take me into that world. You're, are, you, are you watching monster movies? Are you, where, where do you get your inspiration for, for your choreography? I think a lot of, um, it's a great question, because a lot of the monster stuff that is out there, um, yes, of course, I absorbed over the years and, you know, went back in to look at, you know, how would I want to approach it. And I think, too, it was very clear from um, the producers and the director that we wanted to find a, a modern take um, that felt fresh and, you know, has a little bit of street style, has a little bit of musical theater, so it doesn't live in just... Um, you know, we try not to get, like walk the line of being a little cheesy monster stuff, you know? So um, it's, it's, but it's fun. It's like, I'm just asking, so do you watch monsters and how they move? I was just, <laughs> I was thinking of the absurdity of a question like that. Well, <laughs> well they're all animated or these are all in our, in our minds. So really your, your yeah. imagination is your limit, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>